So what do you do when you're on keto, but you love the potato? Hey folks, my name's Allie, let's get started. Welcome to Allie's Test Kitchen. That's kind of the wrong name because this is actually my mother's kitchen. But today we are going to talk about a really good potato substitute. Now, let me just be the first to say, cauliflower has had its day in the sun. Cauliflower rice, cauliflower mashed potatoes, cauliflower pizza crust. In my humble opinion, cauliflower does not capture that texture and the comforting smoothness of the potato. So today we are making potato substitutes using radishes. In my opinion, this lovely red vegetable is so crisp, it's got a little bit of spice, and it is here to take over the cauliflower craze that has hit the ketogenic community. For this video, I'll be using both whole radishes and the radish coins that are pre-sliced. Now this bag didn't have any nutrition info on it, but on the back of the coins, it says that 28 grams is about four calories, zero fat, one gram of carbs, and zero protein. So basically, um, it's not a whole lot that you're getting, but they make a really great potato substitute. So if carbs aren't your only concern, they're also very low calorie and can help with weight loss. Spring has arrived, and what's better than celebrating with friends and family around food? Easter weekend's also coming up, and so today we're gonna talk about three meals that you can cook for your family when you guys get together. We're going to start with breakfast, and for breakfast, we are going to make eggs and bacon with a side of radish hash browns. For lunch, you know that you can't have a spring barbecue without that perfect barbecue side of potato salad, so today we're using radishes for that as well. And then for dinner, we are also going to make mashed potatoes, which is everybody's favorite comfort food. I'm pretty sure it's the world's favorite comfort food. So I've got the main attraction ready to go and we're just gonna cook our hash browns with the leftover grease from the bacon and the eggs. You may wanna add in a little olive oil as well if your pan's getting a little dry. Um, so this is just like the cheap stuff. Extra light tasting um, olive oil. So what you're looking for is for pieces that are becoming translucent like this one here. Um, so that one's gonna be ready to flip soon. But we need to season, it's the most important part. This stuff makes anything pretty much taste amazing. I know it's dirty, but that's because I use it a lot when I'm cooking. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this in. A little will go a long way. So sprinkle it on the tops, and then when you flip them, sprinkle it on the bottom. So I gave my hash browns a flip, and I'm just gonna sprinkle in a tiny bit more, a dash of my Cavender's Greek seasoning. Well, there we have it, folks. It's our Sunday brunch springtime Easter breakfast complete with fried eggs, bacon, and of course, those keto-approved hash browns, which are made from radishes. And I swear, these are so good. They're the closest thing I've found to a keto substitute for like a french fry or a hash brown or just some sort of fried potato. I definitely hope that you guys give this a try. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix it all together and write down the amounts that I use, and I will post those in the description. But I do know that I'm gonna start with three pounds of radishes, that was three bags. We've got red onion and celery, and I've got five eggs, but I cooked 10 just in case I wanted more, who knows. Some minced fresh dill, we've got mayonnaise, and we've got mustard. And I also picked up some apple cider vinegar. That's what the recipe I looked at online from all recipes said to use. So um, I might use that as well. We will see. So for a potato salad, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to quarter these and then we're going to boil them until they're tender. Should have been better prepared for how long this was gonna take. I mean, these are tiny. So if you're quartering them or having them, some of them I'm just having them, but I already chopped off the ends and I've already prepped them. So it's taking a little while. So just, you know, I love, I'm loving this radish, you know, thing. But just be sure, since they're so small and you have to like chop each one, that you have lots of time. Getting a little tired of it, it's getting a little late. Also, some of this food may turn out pink, so um, that might be fun, especially for Easter. Okay, so we have halved and or quartered the radishes, and now it's time to boil. Hi. So now while my radishes are boiling till they're tender, I'm just gonna add in, I don't know, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Um, just to start with this dill, what I want to do is kind of get the flavor out of the dill. And so I'm just going to kind of mix that all together. I feel like the acid of the vinegar will help the dill to kind of release its aromas and flavors. Hopefully that's the plan. I'm not a scientist. Who knows? I can smell it. it smells good. 
Now, the recipe online said five cups of mayonnaise for five pounds of potatoes, but I'm using three pounds of radishes, so I'm gonna cut that down. I'm just measuring on my gram scale over here. I don't know if you can see that. Gram scale somewhere. Anyway, so right now we're at 103 grams. I'm just gonna kinda add it um, until it looks like I've got enough that would cover three pounds of radishes and egg and all the other good stuff. Okay, that's 335. I'm gonna hold off there for now but I can add some later when I mix everything together just to see. But the reason I'm doing this first is because I really want the dill to like infuse with the, the mayonnaise and the mustard. So I'm just gonna mix this so that it just really absorbs all that flavor. Now to my mixture, I'm just adding my Grey Poupon Fancy Dijon Mustard. Surprisingly enough, the jar that's glass is smaller than this. It's a few couple ounces less, but it was more expensive, which is weird. Okay, I feel like that's good. I should have weighed it. Oh boy, who knows. So about that much. Welcome to Allie's Test Kitchen. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Just a little taste. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm liking it. I really am. So now I'm gonna add the onion. Okay, so that was 120 grams of onion. Give her a stir. About 185 grams of celery. And now for the egg, which I'm gonna fold in and not whisk. Gotta be gentle with the eggs because they're little babies. Little soft babies. Don't want a mush. Want, want, want firm egg. I mean, I would just eat this on its own right now. It's smelling good. It looks good. I'm like looking at my fingers over here. And um, so, yeah, I think this is pretty good on its own. But let's try out those radishes. Well, it's getting a little messy. Um, so you know what time that is. It's then dishes with Abby. Doing dishes. I'm getting to this point in my videos where you guys are just really seeing what it's like in my life, you know. I used to hide doing the dishes during cooking videos. I used to want to look like, you know, the perfect little homemaker, even though I'm, you know, 29 and figuring out life. So, I don't know. But I just thought that that was interesting that in the last 80 or so videos that I've done on this channel, I can see myself evolve over two years. And when I look back, I think, wow, what a little baby. Even though I was like 26 or 27 at the time of making my first video. I don't know. I just, it's interesting how things change and how you change and you don't realize it over time. Okay, I'm gonna finish the dishes. I'm gonna drain my radishes and I'm gonna get back to making that potato salad. Now this may have been a very crazy and dumb idea, but um, after my radishes were done boiling and they were tender, um, I figured it would be better to put them into some cold water to cool off before I put them into the egg and mayo and uh, mustard mixture and everything. I don't know, I just felt like it might do something that would make it gross. Or, I don't know, so I kind of wanted to cool them off, but this water, it was like ice cold, and now it's like very, very warm. So, I mean, they're not freezing, um, but, so now I'm gonna actually drain them after they've cooled off a little bit, and I'm gonna put them into my mixture. Like I said, that may have been a really bad decision to make. I was just kind of going off of intuition. So we have got our drained and cooled down a little bit um, radishes, and I'm just going to add those to the mixture using my hands. They actually taste a little like cabbage or something. I don't know, but they're good. I should have salted them a little bit more while they were boiling. But they do, they have like a little bit of a potato flavor and they're not as bitter. There's a slight, there's a slight bitterness, I'm not gonna lie, you know. But uh, I think they're making it a pretty good substitute right now. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this bad boy and we're gonna see what happens. I made way too much bad boy. <laughs> Way too much. Way too much. Wow, that actually, <laughs> that's actually mixing a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna mix. Um, I thought I was gonna have to add in more mayonnaise or something, more mustard, but it's actually coming out really nicely. And you know what, once it sets in the fridge for like, I don't know, an hour or two, it's gonna be real good. So I'm really excited about that. Now, moment of truth. Let's try one of these bad boys. That's pretty good. I would add some salt. I'm just gonna add some salt for now. I may add more mayo or mustard or something in a bit, but I wanna let it set first and kinda let the radish absorb everything. So it's coming out pretty good. I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. Love me some pepper um, to my mixture. So I salt liberally. You can definitely overdo it on salt, but I say I prefer more salt than not enough salt. 
That's just my life. That's how I do. Yeah, it definitely needs a set. It's a little watery because those potatoes were still warm. Oh, oh this all helped. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let this set. Maybe salt it again, who knows? Maybe add a little bit more mayo or mustard. But I think I'll know better once it sets. Yes, this, it has firmed up a little bit. It's been in the fridge maybe 45 minutes. So my final verdict on the keto potato salad using the radishes. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Good, very, very good. Um, I think, you know, if I gave it more time, it would thicken up even more. I might add some more Dijon. It's gonna be based on what you taste, sir. Oh, you could definitely add so many things in here, like bacon, more egg, cauliflower rice. I mean, I think cauliflower is really good for rice. If you want a little bit more um, bite to it, to give it a little bit more texture. Yeah, definitely something like that. Remember, you all of these keto foods are so good on their own. When you mix them, they're just amazing. So mix whatever you want in there. Avocado, oh my gosh. So our last radish substitute is going to be delicious mashed potatoes. So I actually tried this one out um, a couple nights ago and it turned out really, really well. It turned out a little watery. Um, so I'm gonna try and minimize the water retainage of the radish. Um, and also I used the coins to make that and now I'm just gonna not even try and have to, you know, tediously chop them or quarter them or anything. So I'm just gonna boil them whole and hopefully that'll go a little bit more quickly. Um, so yes, I'm boiling these, gonna add a little bit of salt into the water until they are tender. P.S. I almost forgot the ingredients, so you'll need, obviously, um, radishes. I'm just gonna make a bag's worth, so a pound here. So if you're making a big dinner for lots of people, you know, just use however many you need, and then multiply by over how many bags you're using. So also, I'm just gonna use a splash of whipped cream and um, just a little bit of butter, and you'll see how much I use. It's not exact, um, because last time I made this, it was watery, so I'm gonna try and cut down on the liquids and the melty things, but still make it taste really, really good. We've been boiling for like 10, 15 minutes and I'm just waiting. And the day is just wearing on and on and I'm burning daylight. So why not cauliflower? Well, I've tried the cauliflower mashed potatoes, okay? I don't like it. Okay, maybe I made it wrong. They were a little watery, a little gritty, you know, not very smooth. Um, and honestly, when I looked it up just now on my phone, um, I realized that cauliflower for 28 grams is like 0.8 net grams of carbs. Radish is one, so you're not really like saving any carbs really when you're eating, you know, cauliflower over radishes. Um, and I just, I don't know, I want the smoothness and I think I can get that better from the radish. So that's what I like to do. That's why I think the radish is coming in as the new uh, <clears throat> potato substitute. So watch out cauliflower. Radishes time has come. Okay, so I've got my radishes. They look like those little purple potatoes. Um, they're all boiled, they were tender, and what I'm going to do is mash, and then I'm going to squeeze to get the water out, and then I'm going to whip them so that they're nice and smooth and delicious and comforting and tasty and just, you know, everything that you miss about mashed potatoes. So it's really hard to mash these, actually. Um, they're releasing lots and lots of water, which is why when I made them the other night to try out mashed potatoes with these, it was really watery. So I'm glad that we're mashing and then we're gonna drain the water out a little bit. Okay, so yes, all this water came out. So I'm gonna drain that and I'm either going to whip it with a mixer or I might use my knockoff magic bullet. Hmm, choices, choices. So every time I squeeze these, um, it just, it was burning my hand, but more and more water just kept coming out. So I think what I'm gonna do is take a towel, like um, a tea towel, and just press it down and squeeze it. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So we're all drained. What I've decided to do is, since um, this came out, one pound came out to about this much. I think it will fit in my little magic bullet. Um, knock off, it's called the Bella Blender? No, Bella Kitchen. Oh, so. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Um, so what you could do is if you have like a big blender, just stick it in a big blender. You could try and whip it with like a mixer. It's up to you. I'm gonna do it this way. So here's my radishes all, you know, mashed up, about to be whipped up in the blender. I've got about a half tablespoon of butter, um, and I'm just gonna put in a dash of whipped cream and some salt, um, and it's gonna taste really, really good. Not a whole lot, because I don't want it watery. Maybe that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> 
All right, mixing in three, two, one. <laughs> Gotta give it a good shake every couple of times. Are you ready? Pink potato time, all right. I'm gonna have to scoop it out, I'm sorry. Anticlimactic. It looks like a dessert, but it tastes like mashed potatoes. This is the knockoff version of the magic bullet. The muscle has the actual magic bullet and it worked a lot better. But, you know, whatever. Very good. Needs more salt. So this is very reminiscent of mashed potatoes. Okay. Um, there is like a hint of something like after you swallow, um, like a bite. I mean, you know it's not mashed potatoes, but it's very, very close. And I think it's a lot closer than like cauliflower mash or whatever. I mean, this is just, mmm, got it. And, you know, it covers that craving really, really well. Oh, so, yeah. Well, folks, that's about it for today. This kitchen is a mess, and I'm ready to go and just be out of this kitchen for a while. I hope you guys do consider using the radish as your new keto potato substitute. Um, definitely, I think it's going to overtake the cauliflower <laughs> very, very soon. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That would help me out so much. And if you want to find me on social media, I'll link all that down below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these three recipes and that you try them out for yourself. Um, but I'm a little tired. I'm a little full. I've been going since about 7 o'clock this morning. So I'm going to call it a day right there. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Allie. Have a good one. Bye.